Her bedbug job in South London has led Imogen to travel to Wales. I've come to Tintin in Monmouthshire to meet an expert in bedbug behaviour and management. Charlotte's definitely got bed bugs in her bedroom and in the living room. She's already had an insecticidal spray treatment and the bed bugs have returned. They're persistent little creatures. Hopefully he'll, he'll have the answers for me. Oh, wow. Is it safe to come in without <laughs> it, it taking clothing? It is safe, yeah. yeah. It's fairly safe. Dr. Richard Naylor has been studying live bed bugs for over 15 years. He might just have some answers for Imogen. They can't live yeah. without feeding, so no, I have to feed them myself. In fact, I have to feed some now, so I can show you how I do it. Oh, OK, um, that'd be interesting. You can see here's some pots of bugs they're already packed in. There's a couple of hundred. Um, and I just, I just strap them to my arms. These pots have a, just a fine mesh on the bottom, so the bugs can't escape. They can feed through the mesh. I fed tens of thousands of them, obviously, and my, my immune system's just uh, stopped, stopped responding. Stop responding. <laughs> Bed bugs find blood vessels under the skin with their long, piercing mouth part. Pressure from the vessel fills the insect with blood in around four minutes. You're experimenting on yourself. After 15 years of doing it, it feels completely normal. Do you think you'll be partially bed bugged by the time they... <laughs> Perhaps so, yeah. <laughs> they look like they're really feeding well there. OK, they look like they're about done now. As you can see, it's left my arm looking a little bit red. 